I want to show you how to weld this tiny curb chain using the Orion micro welder. In fact, this is harder to do than this chain because this chain is somewhat stiff and it stands out already. This on the other hand, because of the fine links, it drapes and it's a little bit harder to weld, but I'm gonna show you how I did this. This is a really pretty chain. Um, this curb chain, unfortunately, the holes are very, very tight. And the only thing that would go through is a 26 gauge head pin. So I just wanna show you a way of doing this. One is, the first thing you should do is learn to ball the chain at the very end. Because sometimes when it's very airy, there's not enough space, not enough weld area, and it can thin out very easily. So what I do first is to slide the chain to my alligator clip so that only a little bit is exposed. Um, and I'm going to now move it, move my camera closer so that you can see better. Okay. I'm at seven and a half watts and I'm gonna do it a couple of times until it balls like that. I'm gonna make sure that it balls. So there is a solid little ball. I might want to make it slightly bigger so that when the two connect, the two balls connect, there's going to be a very strong bond enough for silver to be strong against wear and tear. Okay, so make sure that focus again okay, let me go. okay let me see if you can see that so that's a bigger ball okay I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side And what, you, what I do is I hold on to the alligator clip and I drag the chain until I'm at the very end. And I'm going to do the same thing. Oops. I do it several times so that it collapses each time. So I'm gonna do that again. See, I have a ball forming, but I just want it to be bigger. So there, I'm going to show you, see, there's a ball. So basically this is just a stand that has a clip and I'm going to move it so that just the ball is exposed as much as possible. If it's not enough is exposed, you don't want that. It might hang a little bit, hang down and you just have to meet it at the bottom but I'm gonna try and move it back a little bit so that you can see better. Okay, so you would put it on close to the wrist and then on this side, and you would smoothen it all the way around like this so that it's not twisted on the person. And then you get the alligator clip, your ground, and you smoothen it this and then you pull until just the bead is exposed like this and then here as well and then I'm going to weld I'm gonna see if I can make it so that you can see it better there it sticks out a bit, bit so now I'm going to weld the two like this together and it might need take a couple of times because 
the connection is not as good as normally it would be because these are balls as opposed to just flat surfaces. But it's got a lot of silver, so you're hoping that it will jump as long as the two sides are touching. And I think that did it, but I'm gonna check. Yes. So it's not at a perfect angle, and all I have to do is flatten it. Let's see if you can see it better. There we go. Um, now what I'm gonna do is it looks like a little bead. I'm going to flatten it out. And what you do is you tap, tap, tap as you are rotating the chain. And that way it's even. And then if your chain at the very is flat, at the very end, you flatten it out like this. I'm going to do a close-up so you can see. There you go. So this, because it's too airy, the, the wires, when you, by balling it and then you put it together, it forms a very solid weld. So now I'm going to check to make sure that it is weld it on and it's inconspicuous so there you have it i wholesale this chain and many other components and i'm going to put a link below as well as some information on the orion micro welder